we're going to be doing an advanced performer class. This class is geared towards the advanced client who has a good understanding of the basic Pilates principles. If you're up for a challenge and you're ready to go, join me on your reformer. We're going to be starting with two red springs and one blue spring, headrest in the down position. We're going to be starting with bridge work. So if you're ready, we'll lie down onto our back, placing the head on the headrest with the arches of the feet on the top of the bar, approximately three or four inches apart, just like about in line with your sit bones. Arms will come down by your side. We're gonna take an exhale going into an imprinted lower spine, begin to peel the spine up one vertebrae at a time, keeping that carriage into the stopper. Take an inhale through your nose, stay lifted. You should feel those hammies working. Exhales as you slowly roll your spine back down, one vertebrae at a time through imprint back into a neutral spine. Exhales as you imprint the lumbar spine, which slowly roll those hips up. Take a nice inhale through the nose, stay lifted here. And then on your exhale, ribs melt down first, then the mid back, the low back, and lastly, the tailbone. At the top of this next bridge, we'll go ahead and remain lifted up. Feel that those glutes are fired up, your neck is relaxed. We're gonna draw that right leg straight up towards the ceiling. Flexing the foot, we're gonna lower the leg away from us, keeping the hips level, pointing the foot, return the leg to the sky. Flex the foot, lower the leg away, point the foot, return to the sky. Two more times. So that left glute and hamstrings working really hard to help keep those hips level. Last time, ending with that right leg up to the sky. From here, lower the hips down to the carriage and lifting them right back up. Inhale, lower those hips down and exhale, lift them back up. Press down evenly through your arms and through your triceps. Feel both butt cheeks hit the carriage at the exact same time. On the fifth one, remain lifted. Replace your right foot onto the bar. Please make sure your hips are still level across. They're not tilted towards one side. Then the left leg comes up to the sky. Flexing the foot, lower the leg away from you. Pointing the foot, return to the sky. Flex to lower away. Point to return to the sky. This right glute and hamstring should really be talking to you. It's doing a big job. One more time. Ending with the left leg to the ceiling, toes pointed. Lower the hips down to the carriage five times without rolling through your back. The carriage is still all the way in tight to the stopper. Three more. Last two. Last time, stay lifted. Replace your left foot onto the bar. Lift the hips up a little bit higher. See if you can reach your arms a little further forward. And then on an exhale, roll the spinal column all the way back down, one vertebrae at a time. Good, you can hug those knees in towards your chest, give yourself a gentle little squeeze. We're gonna move ourselves right into some single leg footwork. So place the heel of your right foot onto the bar in line with your sit bone, and then left leg reaches out straight, toes pointed. If you'd like your head rest up, I do. You're more than welcome to raise it up. We're gonna slide the carriage out, draw that left leg into a tabletop position. Come back in, extend that left leg over the bar. Exhales, press it out. Inhales, resist it in. And exhale out. And inhale in. Sometimes it's not a bad idea to place those hands on those hips. Make sure that they are staying level. They're not sinking towards one side. Then to the best of your ability, you want to hold that right foot still. Don't let it be peeling back and forth over the foot bar as you slide out and in. We'll take the next one out approximately halfway. Just keep your left leg in tabletop and start to pulse that carriage. Squeeze that tush. We just warmed up those glutes and hamstr hamstrings. They should be nice and toasty, ready to go. Let's press it all the way out three times, full range of motion, adding that left leg back on. Then we will be staying on the same leg, but sliding down so that your right toes are on the foot bar, high half toe. Left leg's gonna reach out straight over the foot bar. 
From here, you're gonna slide the carriage out through tabletop and up to the sky with that left leg. Then from here, flex both feet, extending that back of that left leg straight. Point both feet, lifting up that right heel high. Come through tabletop and then back in. So I know that's a lot. We'll break it down slow again. You slide out through tabletop and then up to the sky. Flex both feet, lift the heels, come through tabletop and then come back in. Let's do that a few more times. Once you start to get the hang of it, you're more than welcome to move a little bit quicker, but not too much. Still focusing on your form. And I like to try to get both legs straight at the exact same time. Just a little mind game that you can play with yourself. Two more. Hips level, nice neutral spine. Come in halfway with your left leg and tabletop. Pulse that carriage. So we're gonna definitely feel this a lot through our quadriceps, but we still need to mentally bring some awareness to our right tush. Now stay in the squat, just the right heel lifts and lowers for ankle isolations. And keep the right heel lifted up high, press all the way out one time, and bring it all the way back in. Woo, you can shake off that right leg. We are gonna switch legs, repeat all that on the left. So starting with your left heel on the bar in line with your left sit bone, right leg reaches out straight. From there, slide out, draw the right leg to tabletop, slide it back in, fix on the right leg over the bar. Press it out and bring it in. Again, press it out and bring it in. Bring some awareness to your left foot. Try not to let it flop around over the bar. Keep it in one spot. Then also have some awareness in your hips. Keep them level. Then we'll take it out halfway with the right leg and tabletop. We'll start to pulse the carriage here. Nice and gushy, not bouncing, not spastic. Then all the way out three times. And then we come all the way back in. We slide it down so the left toes are on the foot bar, high half toe. Right leg is straight. From here, we slide out through tabletop all the way up to the sky. Flex both feet. Lower, lowering those heels, then lifting the heels, pointing through tabletop and then back in. Through tabletop, arrive at the same time if you can with two straight legs. Flex, point through tabletop, and then. Once you got the hang of it, feel free to move at a more moderate tempo. I really like to think of reaching the energy in two opposite directions out of my heels on those calf raises. Let's do two more. And then on this one, let's come in halfway with the right leg in tabletop, hold. Left heel lowers, lifts, lowers, lifts. Double check, you still have a natural curve in your lumbar spine. And keep that left heel high, press all the way out one time and bring it all the way back in. All right, awesome job. We're gonna set ourselves all the way up from there. Change the spring settings, you're only on one red and one blue. You can grab your hand straps off of the ground or wherever they may be. Feel free to loop them around your shoulder rests and then we'll lay back down onto our backs. We're gonna scoot away from the blocks about two inches or so, just so you're not jammed into them and hold onto the straps with our hands. We'll also have our head rest down because we're gonna be doing a little rollover exercise here in just a moment. Start with two straight arms up to the ceiling and then bring your legs up to a tabletop position. There should be tension in your straps and your lumbar spine should be imprinted. With straight arms, press down to the carriage. Inhale, bring the arms back up to the ceiling. Exhale, press the arms down to the carriage. Inhale, come back up to the ceiling. 
Add your chest lift, reach the legs out straight as those arms come down. Inhales as you come back to your starting point. Exhale as you chest lift, reach those legs out, energy out of those fingers, nice straight wrists. Inhale as you come back. Two more. Feeling your scapulas leave the carriage. Last time. And then coming back. Now, we're going to take rollover. So you're going to press your arms down and extend the legs out straight. Hold on to the carriage a little bit by pressing down through the palms of your hands. Legs lift up towards the ceiling. Legs continue to roll back towards your face a little bit. You're going to roll over so that your thigh bones come parallel to the ceiling. From there, shoot those legs up towards the ceiling, point your feet. Let those legs lower back down parallel to the ceiling. And then slowly roll the spine back down, one vertebrae at a time, straight through the center of the spine. As the legs lower down to 45 degrees, the arms come back up to the ceiling. Now, make sure you're in an imprint. This is a really intense position for those abs. As the arms come down, the legs start to come up towards the ceiling. The legs continue to roll over. The legs shoot up towards the ceiling, point your toes, squeeze your tush. Let those legs come back down to about 90 degrees. And then slowly, sequentially roll the spine back down. And as the legs lower down, the arms come up to the sky. One more time. Exhale, press the arms down, roll the legs over. From there, inhale, shoot those legs up. Squeeze your tush, toes up, up, up. Slowly resist as those legs come back down, 90 degrees. Keep reaching forwards out of your arms. And then slowly roll the spine back down. As the legs lower away from you, those arms come back up to the sky. Woo, rest your feet on the bar. Take a breath, maybe slide out, breathe. I should have been real tough on those abs. All right. Again, feel free to scoot away from your blocks. I'm gonna put my headrest back up. We won't be doing any more rollovers there, luckily. We're gonna separate the legs so that they're in tabletop, and we're gonna bring some tension on our straps here. We're coming into a chest lift, but one hand's gonna go between the legs and the other hand's gonna go to the outside of the legs. So you're twisting. Inhale, come back to your starting point. Exhale as you chest lift, reach one hand through and the other hand to the side. Inhale as you lower down. Again, exhale, lift. And inhale, lower. And exhale, lift. And lower. Feel your obliques working to help pull those ribs closer towards those hips. Two more. Keep consistent tension in those straps. Last time. All right, that should do it. You can go ahead and ditch those straps down on the ground. We'll set ourselves all the way back up. We're gonna be changing our spring setting down to one blue. I'm gonna put my platform extender on so that it's flush to the wood frame. Woo, hope you're feeling it, because I'm feeling it. <laughs> We're gonna come into a plank here. You guys probably know planks are my absolute favorite. If you didn't know that, you're about to find out. <laughs> We're gonna come down to elbows and forearms, hold the outsides of the blocks, feet together right at that front edge of the platform, and gently lift your knees, and take it out into your first plank of the class. Once out here, hold, breathe. We're just gonna get a little burn going. Now I want you to make sure that your lower back is not sagging or excessively arched here. You need to think of scooping your hips towards your ribs, belly button to spine. Exhale as you push the carriage forward. Inhale as you draw back under. Exhale as you push the carriage forward. Inhale as you drop back under. Again, exhale, push. Inhale, pull. Exhale, push. Inhale, pull. Two more. Exhale, push. And pull. And one more time. Push. And pull. Now we take scooter. Bend the knees over the carriage. And press back out. Bend the knees over. And press back out. Three more. Squeeze your tush as those legs extend. 
Last time, you're gonna hold the plank, two straight legs. So you can pull your shoulder blades away from your ears and bend the knees and place the knees all the way down. Walk your knees up to your shoulder rest. Hands come down onto the silver frames so that we're on all fours. Catch your breath. Take a little cat and cow stretch. Inhaling for cows, gaze slightly forward, pull your scapulas back out of your ears. Exhales around your spine, tuck your tail, cat. We're gonna take those hands, walk them up the frame a decent amount, like 10 to 15 inches, depends on how heavy your springs are. You're gonna pull your shoulders forward on top of your wrists. So we're on a new all fours with spring tension. Now, scooping up those abs, you're gonna slide the carriage to the back of the wrist and then back out to under the line of the hip. Exhales, pull, resist. Exhales, pull, resist. Press your shin bones down heavily into the carriage to help you fill your lower abdominals even more. Hang in there. There's a lot going on with this exercise. There's stabilization happening through your shoulders and lats. Even your triceps work against the spring tension here. Let's go for three. Exhale two. And exhale one. You can let the carriage come in and take a little child's pose there. Breathe. Okay. Make sure your headrest is down. And then I'm gonna use my left strap here just so that you can see the side that we're dealing with better. So if you wanna grab your left strap too, it's probably not a bad idea so that you know what's going on. You're gonna hold the rope just above the silver clasp with your left hand. Your right hand is gonna go onto your headrest. You're gonna scoot your knees over and back toward the left hand side so that your right hand and your right knee are in line with each other. You're gonna point your feet, keep them like slightly lifted just so they're not gonna be kicking anything below you. With your left arm, it's gonna to come to the side of the carriage in a little hover. You're gonna sweep that left arm all the way up to approximately hip height. Inhales to resist coming back, down, grease the side of the reformer. Exhales come all the way back up to about hip height and inhale, slowly come back down. Now, of course, this is our advanced class, so if you want more of a challenge, extend the right leg out straight behind you. Keep your hips squared off to the floor. Be careful, this is not easy. Exhale, sweep. Inhale, lower. If your springs are too heavy, please make the appropriate adjustments. Yellow or white is lighter than this blue that we are on. I'm sure you know that. Keep that left arm up, hip height, tricep kickbacks, gently bend and extend through that left elbow. Rock solid core, keep those shoulders and hips facing the ground. Let's go for a three. See if that right leg goes a little straighter. Two. Last time you'll hold that left arm straight, hold it. Lengthen the spine, straighten that right leg a little bit more and place the whole thing back down. Woo, you can ditch that, I should have felt that all through here, that's a, a fun time. Before we do the other side, let's do a plank, because why not? So coming down to your hands this time, thumbs behind the shoulder blocks, other eight fingers to the outside of the blocks, and then feet together on the platform. Soften your elbows, make sure not hyperextended. Look towards your headrest, breathe. Exhale, push the carriage forward. Inhale, pull it under. Exhale, push it forward. Inhale, pull it under. Three more. Exhale. And inhale. Two more. One more. And gently bend the knees and place those knees down. Let's do the other side. So grabbing your right strap, hold the rope just above the metal clasp. Your right hand's holding, your left hand is on the headrest. Knees scoot back and over toward the right so that your left hand and left knee are in line here and your knees are hip width apart. Sweep your right hand all the way up to hip height. Inhale, slowly bring it back down. Exhale, sweep it up to hip height. 
Inhale, slowly bring it back down. If you want more of a challenge, left leg extends out straight, square your hips off, don't let them rotate because you won't be able to balance. Exhale, right arm coming up. Inhale, put the brakes on, go slow on the way down. Exhale, sweep it up. Inhale, resist it down. Again. And resist. And up. Hold it there. Tricep kickbacks. Gently bend and extend your right elbow. Notice what's going on with your left side. Keep your left elbow soft. Keep your left leg straight. Last time, keep the right arm straight, hand at the hip, hold it. Reach, reach, reach. And gently place everything back down. We'll ditch that strap. We'll take another plank to finish it off. Hands behind the shoulder blocks. Feet can stay on the platform or if you would like to venture up on top of the foot bar. The safest way to get into this is with one foot on the bar first, slide out here. Once here, stabilize to your shoulders and step it up. Legs together, tush tucked. You can keep your arms and legs straight. Give you a couple options. You could do the arm presses forward and back again. If you're tired of doing that, you could take pikes. Exhales, pike the hips up, pull the carriage towards the stopper. Inhale, slowly take your time. Come back out into your plank. Exhale, pike the hips up, push through your shoulders and lats. Lift those hips, drop your head. Inhale, slowly back out into your plank. Two more. Take your time. High, high heels. Last time, here we go. Exhale, pike the hips up. Come back out into your plank. Everyone's here. Draw your scapulas out of your ears. Squeeze your tush. Soften your elbows. And then carefully come down one knee at a time. Let's take a child's pose. <laughs> hips to heels, reach those arms forward. Breathe. Reset if you need to. Woo. Okay. Moving on from there, we're going to go ahead and put our boxes on the reformer. Short waves. You can also ditch your platform extender. Short box is going to go over your shoulder rest. At least if you're on a stop reformer. If you're on a balanced body, it's up to you depending on your leg length. Um, you can load on a couple extra springs just so your carriage isn't going to be flying away and make sure you're going to be able to grab your foot strap underneath your foot bar. We'll sit down facing the foot bar and position both of our feet under the strap and scooch all the way back so that your heels are connected to the edge of the carriage. Knees are a little bit soft, but they're not like straight with the feet floating. Don't be here. I like to soften those knees. Keep the legs relaxed. Sitting tall with your arms forward in front of you. We take an inhale through the nose. Exhale, squeeze your tush, slide your tailbone underneath you, lean back into a little C curve. Hollow out the abdomen here, but still maintain the width of your collarbone nice and open. Begin to pump your arms firmly, breathing in through the nose for five counts, out through the mouth for five counts. Getting connected to our abdominals here. More connected than we already are. Exhale, lift both arms up. Inhale, shoulder height. Exhale, lift. Inhale, shoulder height. Exhale, lift. As those arms are going up, those abs are coming in tighter to your spine. That's why we need to exhale as the arms go up. Keep the arms lifted up to the ceiling. Gently pulse the body. Biceps in line with the ears. Every time you lean back, exhale slightly harder. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a forward fold over those legs. Breathe. Okay, make sure you have a good grip with your feet underneath that strap. We're going to have our right leg come up to a tabletop position. Hands behind the head, so nice and tall. Inhale as you lean back a little bit, extend the right leg straight. As you come up, twist towards your knee. Inhale, lean back, extend the leg straight. Exhale, come up and twist towards the knee. Pelvis stays pretty still. 
in the sense that it's grounded. It's not uneven. You always have even weight to your buns. Two more. Last time. Woo! All right, switch legs. Oh, so a tough one. You need strong hip flexors to do this one. Left leg comes up to tabletop, so you nice and tall on your sit bones. Even just this position can be a challenge for people. So if it is, you could just stay here. We're going to take an inhale, lean back, extend the left leg straight. Exhale as you come up, twist towards that left knee, rotate. Inhale, lean back, extend the leg straight. Exhale, rotate. Three and more, we're just doing five in total. Lean and exhale, twist and two more. Lean and exhale, twist. And one more time, lean back and exhale, twist. You can remove your feet from under there, just take a little forward fold, catch your breath for a moment. Then we're gonna do one of my favorites. We're gonna take side overs, and I believe the stop method calls this Hawk, yes, it's called hawk. We're gonna come into a long diagonal. We're gonna extend the arms. I do it slightly different, but close enough. We're gonna reach into a nice long diagonal here. Reach, reach, reach. This leg should be straight. Your toes facing forward, not up to the ceiling. You're gonna take your top arm up overhead. Scoop that bottom arm. Hold, feel this length, feel this good form. Bring your arms through center, turn your shoulders to square off to the floor and extend both arms out to the sides. You're looking down at your prey. You're gonna swivel back towards me. The bottom arm is gonna scoop up that prey and come into this long diagonal. And then we come all the way up. You can externally rotate that leg, let it fall down into the well and bend towards it. Then again, we come back up. We lengthen, catch ourselves, come into that long diagonal, tilt your head. From there, top arm reaches overhead. From there, square your shoulders, open your arms out to the side, scoop your belly tight. Make sure that back leg is still straight. Come back through, bottom arm comes up overhead. Hold, we're going slow. Come all the way up, externally rotate your leg and bend towards the leg. One more time is good. Arms out to the side, reach, catch yourself, toes face forward. Reach your top arm overhead. I almost got confused for a second. Square both of your shoulders and your ribs to the ground. Open your arms out to the side. Pull your belly in, don't forget. Take the bottom arm, scoop up that prey. Come into your long diagonal, hold, hold, hold. And come up, externally rotate your leg and bend towards it. All right, three times on the other side. Here we go. So make sure your bottom leg is nice and secure up on that box. Top leg is under the strap. You're gonna reach out into a long diagonal. I like to have the arms parallel to the floor, but tilt the head. From here, top arm, overhead, bottom arm scoops. Rotate, turn both of your shoulders and your ribs towards the floor. Get roughly parallel to the floor with your spine. Arms open up to the side, hold. Take the bottom arm, scoop it up and overhead. Square your shoulders back off to your original position. Coming up, bottom leg externally rotates and falls down towards the spring as you bend. Two more. Start by catching yourself. Lengthen out, hold. Top arm, overhead, long diagonal. Arms through center and open up to the side. Square your shoulders and ribs to the floor. Take the bottom arm, scoop, bend. Externally rotate the top leg and bend towards the top leg. We have one more to go. Come back out into that long diagonal reach, catch yourself. Top arm overhead. Turn, square shoulders off, both arms open up to the side. Bottom arm scoops through, hold. Slowly coming up, externally rotate the leg and bend. Woo! Yeah, three is enough, right? It's crazy, just three repetitions, that's all you need. We're gonna go ahead and put the boxes on long ways now. We'll change that spring setting. Let's change it down to one blue string. One blue string. You can grab, I'm gonna grab my left one again so you guys can see that side first. And then we're gonna carefully come up whoop, onto all fours, kind of. Just come onto your knees like so. The easiest way to get into this without falling off the reformer, reel yourself in, 
Get a lot of slack in your strap and lasso your left foot into the strap. Then you can let it go. Then the two hands are gonna come to their respective corners on the box. Your right knee is gonna scoot back and over toward the left and the left leg is gonna drop straight down towards the ground. You're gonna start with your two thighs in line with each other. From this position, you're gonna let the leg come off the side of the reformer just a touch. Sweep the left leg all the way up to hip height behind you. Inhale, as you slowly resist coming back down, stop your thighs in line with each other. And again, exhales as you sweep that left leg all the way up to hip height behind you. Inhales as you slowly come back down. Most of your weight should be in your left hand. Therefore, if you are an advanced student, you should work towards lifting your right hand off of the box, theoretically, and if you still have good balance, reach the arm all the way forward in front of you, thumb up to the sky. Please be careful. Again, this is an advanced exercise. If you need to put the hand back down, feel free. On the next one, we're going to keep the right leg, or sorry, left leg lifted up. Hold. Flex your foot. Bend your left knee next to the right one. Exhale, push. Inhale, resist. Bend the knee ne next to the right one. Exhale, push. Bend and push and bend and push two more if you still have your right arm up hang in there You're doing great one more time we're going to keep ooh, that left leg straight hold it pull your abs in pull your shoulder blades out of your ears feel that oppositional energy reaching from your fingers all the way out through your left heel and then go ahead and just place everything down onto your box. Woo! Okay, let's ditch that strap and we'll go directly to the other side. So you can grab your right one. Hopefully it's not too far away like mine is. Make sure it's not tangled. Reel yourself in. I like to just sit my tush towards my heels, get a lot of slack, and hook the right foot into the strap. Two hands at the corners of the box. Take your left knee back and over toward the right decent amount. You want to be able to lean toward the right hand side. Right leg is sweeping all the way up to hip height. Inhale, resist down. Exhale, sweep it up. Inhale, resist down. So remember, most of your weight's going to be in your right hand. If you feel balanced, you can lift your left hand a few inches, test the waters, make sure you're not gonna go overboard. If you still feel pretty confident, you can reach your left arm forward with your thumb up to the sky. You must maintain steady tension in the rope. Don't get any slack. Keep your right elbow straight, but not hyperextended. These are some of my favorite exercises to challenge myself when I'm just really needing a good, solid workout, get nice and sweaty, feel the burn. Keep that right leg lifted up, hold, flex your foot, feel the back of the leg is straight. Bend the right knee in next to the left one. Exhale, push back out. Inhale, bend the knee in. Exhale, push back out. A few more, bend, and exhale, straight. Last two. Last time. Keep it straight, hold, and place it all down. You can remove your right foot from that strap and shake it out. Woo-wee, all right. Then we're gonna change our spring setting to a white, one white spring. Grab both straps. Stand with your straps. Again, this is kind of tricky to get into, so just be careful. Definitely standing to the side. Got one strap on each side of my hip. 
I'm gonna walk forward so the carriage slides out. I'm gonna grab the box with the hands and I'm gonna make my way onto my belly. Chest comes off the edge of the box once you're down there. Feet are about hip width apart. Okay. Now, you're gonna bring your arms into a little bench press position, palms facing down to the ground. My legs are active. If all we did was stay here, that would be a pretty tough exercise too. But we're not, we're moving. <laughs> and then exhale, you're gonna reach your arms all the way forward in front of you. Feel this long line from your fingers to your toes. Inhale, bend the elbows back in, stop them in line with your shoulders, and then exhales, reach forward, and then inhales, bend. Now this isn't a crazy heavy spring, but it's extremely challenging for your postural muscles, the spinal extensors that run along your spine to keep your chest lifted. Hang in there. Keep the arms extended forward, hold. Take swimming with those legs. Five, four, don't let the arms move. Three, two, one. Grab the frames, bend your knees, let your head hang, let your feet fall side to side. We have another set of that. I know you're excited, me too. We're gonna bring our arms straight out to the side here in a letter T. Palms facing down to the ground. Legs come closer together again. With straight arms, pull them forward towards the bar. Inhale, open the arms out to the side to create the letter T. Exhale, come forward. Inhale, back out to the side. Three more. Exhale, forward. Don't let those arms be lower than your box. Last two. One more. Keep the arms forward in front of you. Hold and take swimming. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. You can let those go. Watch out for your face on the bar. Hands on the bar to slide out, bend your knees, take a forward fold. And again, you can let your feet fall side to side. Bring the carriage in. We'll go ahead and put our boxes back down in front of the reformer, out of the way. Okay, we'll take our um, foot bars down and we'll stay on our lightest spring. I'll tell you what we're doing next. We're gonna take this platform, remember I love planks. Since we're on that white spring, we're gonna put the platform all the way at the back of the reformer or almost all the way at the back. If you don't have a platform, hopefully you can just use the railings of your reformer, just be careful. What we're gonna do, we're gonna start with the carriage into the stopper. That's usually the biggest error, so I'll say that again. You're gonna start with the carriage into the stopper, no tension, just keep that white spring on. You're gonna hold the sides of your reformer or platform and step up into a plank, okay? So this shouldn't feel anything extraordinary, just a regular plank. There's no spring tension right now. You're into your stopper. Now, using your lower abdominals, bend your knees, slide the carriage up to the platform, and slowly take it back out into your plank. Exhale, bend the knees, pull the carriage up, resist it back out. Couple more, you should feel this quite a bit in those low abs. You do have two options for where your legs are going. They're either going between the blocks or on top of the blocks. One more. And you can carefully step down, either inside the well or off to the side, whatever works. Stand up, take a breath. We got one more variation of that, and then we're gonna stretch. So woo, hopefully you are nice and sweaty like myself, okay? So here we go, one more set of that. You can do scooters again, or you can keep your legs straight and do pikes. That's just gonna depend on how flexible your hamstrings are. So if you're a little tight, you might not be able to just physically get into this position. So do what your body allows you to do. We're gonna, again, start with the carriage into the stopper, hands to the sides of the frames or on the platform, and stepping up. Legs are either together or apart in line with the shoulder rests. 
Now you're gonna keep your legs straight if you're going for the pike. Drop the head as you pull the carriage up. Slowly take it back out into a plank. Exhale as you pike the hips up. Push through your shoulders, drop your head. And slowly take it back out into that plank. If you're not doing the pike, it's not working out. Your hammies are a little too tight for this. Just do those scooters, they're just as good. One more time. Exhale, pike, and slowly back out. You can carefully step down, either in the well or off to the side. If you have a platform, <laughs> go ahead and remove it. You can just slide it underneath your reformer out of the way. Okay, uh, since this is our advanced class, we'll also do our advanced stretches. So whatever that means, right? <laughs> We're gonna change our spring to a blue, should be good. You can take the white one off. This just depends. If you want more weight, feel free to go up to a red if you need more spring tension for your stretch. You're going to have your left foot against your left shoulder block and your right foot up on the center of the bar. I'm kind of like right at the start of my heel. Then I'm going to push my hips forward and the carriage will really only slide off the stopper like two or three inches. You should still feel that your right kneecap is over your right heel, chest up, shoulders down. The stretch is in your left psoas. Tuck your tail. Breathe. Woo. Left arm comes up. Bend a little bit to the right hand side. Make sure you're still holding on to the bar with that right hand. And then we'll come back up from there. And then you can start to straighten out your right leg. Get as straight as you can. You can kind of wiggle your foot so it's on the same side of the bar as your body. Feel free to lean forward, slide out, be nice to your hamstrings, don't force it. If this is too crazy, which I recognize it probably is unless you are a dancer friend out there, you can definitely bring your foot down to the wood platform in front of you if you need that modification. Then you can slide all the way out into the splits too. Either one of those options. Make sure not hyperextending your elbows. And we'll bring it back in. We'll switch legs, start with our uh, hip flexor stretch. So right foot against your right block and then left arch slash heel right on top of the bar. Think of coming forward. As you come forward, the carriage slid out just a smidge. Big stretch going on from this hip flexor all the way down into that quadricep. Chest up, easy shoulders. Reach your right arm up. Bend a little bit to the left hand side. And coming up, hands on the bar or on the frames. You're going to slide out, get your front leg as straight as you can. Feel free to lean forward. You can start to also slide out through the back leg. I'm not a fan of over splits, so it's not great on the hip joints, so I wouldn't recommend that if you are somebody who's crazy flexible. I would rather that you just brought that foot down to the wood and did the actual splits here. That's better. Over splits aren't great on the femur. Breathe. Deep breaths wherever you're at. Hope you guys feel good. That was a tough class. I definitely felt it. We'll bring it back in. Let's finish an elephant. Heels back to the shoulder rest, drop your chest heavy through your arms, keeping your head down, give your carriage a gentle rock back and forth. Take a little twist, take your right hand, grab the outside of your left ankle, pull yourself underneath your left shoulder. Feel free to give the carriage a little rock back and forth here too. Replace the right hand. Take the left hand, grab the outside of your right ankle, twist, pull yourself under, give yourself a little rock back and forth. Replace your left hand, lower yourself down to your knees. We'll finish in a child's pose. Big toes together, hips to heels, slide it out. Take a nice big inhale in through the nose, feel your ribs expand wide to the sides. Exhale, squeeze all that stale air out. With your hips on your heels, round your spine, roll the carriage back in. Hands coming up onto those thighs. Take your shoulders, shrug them up to your ears, roll them down your back, 
and thank you guys so much for coming to class. I hope you feel great. Have a good rest of your day. Rehydrate, eat something yummy, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.